Sage Wanderer here, coming at you from my van down by the river. So if it's concrete, it's a wall. If it's steel, it's a fence. What? <laughs> okay, Nancy and Chuck, and all you lefties who claim that there's no wall being built down there. See, they claim that the wall that Donald Trump has been building along the border for more than a year now that has dozens of miles in several different sections built. You can see, if you uh, are a subscriber, I had put out a posting today with a link to that video where you can see how the wall is being constructed. There are other videos out there that show sections of the completed wall complete with the Donald Trump's uh, seal, presidential seal on them in a metal plaque. And the lefties are saying that that's not a, a wall. And when Donald Trump says that a wall has been built or is being built, that he's a liar. And it's another thing he's lying about. Lies, lies, lies. Um, I heard one uh, news commentator suggest that the network should not give Donald Trump access to the airwaves last night because uh, he was just going to go up there and tell one lie after another. So this is one of the things they accuse him of lying about. Is he says that he's been building a wall and the wall's already underway. But they say, no, it's not. You're a liar. Because they're playing games of semantics with you. They're trying to tell you that the metal barrier that is actually superior to any concrete wall uh, is not a wall at all, but a fence. So therefore, Donald Trump must be lying when he says the wall's been built because there's no wall. It's a fence. Okay, well, I take offense to that. <laughs> Sorry, that was too funny. Um, no, a fence is stretched wire that you can cut through with hand tools. That's a fence. A fence is wire under tension. It can be chain link. It can be barbed wire. It can be electric wire. But a fence is made from wire. And a wall is something that you can't drive your car through, that you can't cut through without serious tools, like power tools, that is high enough that you can't just shimmy up on it, that is designed for you not to be able to climb it. And that's what a wall is. And it doesn't matter if the wall is made out of concrete or the wall is made from steel. It's still a wall. And these people want you to think that Donald Trump is a liar because he says we built a wall. But to them, a wall is made out of concrete and you can drive along the top of it like a dam. Well, like Game of Thrones. Well, it's a wall like Game of Thrones. I mean, that's the what a wall looks like, right? The wall, the winter's coming. <laughs> I don't normally mock people, but it's starting to get really under my skin in a major way. These people want to make a... And, you know, this they want to throw down over this semantics. Chuck, Nancy, you guys look like not just liars, but really bad liars. So I posted up video today of what the wall that's already been under construction looks like. So it's a barrier that's uh, steel I-beams. Uh, steel, like channel beams that are like six inches through. You're not going to cut through them with a hacksaw. Okay? You're not going to be able to to drive a vehicle through them. It will cut your vehicle to pieces. <laughs> you try to drive into that steel, it'll just act like a saw blade and cut your car in half. Uh, split it right down the middle. You try to drive it like a cheese grater. <laughs> it's a suicide to try to drive into this structure. These uh, beams go six feet through concrete into the, into the ground. So you would have to tunnel under them. The benefits of a steel wall over a concrete wall are many. And this design was chosen you know, Donald Trump's playing mind games uh, with uh, uh, Nancy and Chuck a little bit over this concept when he says that, well, you know, they wanted a fence, so we'll just work on building a metal wall. Well, they can call it a fence if they want. But honestly, this is the design. People have such short memories. You know what it is? It's all that Pokemon Go, and it's just all that ridiculous, mind-numbing uh, waste of time. It erases your memories or something. But I remember not too long ago when... Um, when there were all these sections of the wall that were built by contractors and Donald Trump went out and toured them and then talked to engineers and then the, had the people from the Border Patrol come out and talk about it and they decided on a steel wall like a year and a half ago and the wall's been being built for like a year and a half and he just wants more money to finish the wall to really bear down and get her done 
But they decided on these I beams put together so closely and a human being can't get through, set in concrete. Um, some of the designs, and that's still an area of contention, have, you know, pointy tips <laughs> on the top. So when you go to climb over, you're not going to climb up here and sit on it because it's sharp. It'll poke you in the rear end. Um, you know, you work that. With a concrete wall, you can't see through it. So people could be tunneling on the other side and you don't know. People could be building scaffolding and you don't know. People could take a cat and just push dirt up on the wall and drive their car right over it. <laughs> I mean, or just walk up and climb over and jump down. I mean, we don't know what's going on on the other side of the wall without drones and aerial photographs. But if the, if the wall is see-through, we can definitely see what's going on on the other side of the wall. And uh, that way we can answer any threats. And the only way to get through this wall is with an acetylene cutting torch. You could cut a door right into the steel wall. Uh, the problem with that is that's going to release a heat signature that sets off the sensors. And the Border Patrol is going to be meeting you on the other side and making you explain why you put a hole in their fancy new wall. <laughs> One of the benefits of being able to see through it also is that, see, concrete stops sensors. It can actually defer a lot of different sensors and prevent them from penetrating. Where a steel wall, you can see through, sensors can go through the wall. And so you can pick up things like heat sensors, motion detection, all of that occurring on the other side of the border. So there's a ton of benefits. Steel is more expensive <clears throat> than a concrete wall. But will it last longer? One benefit of concrete, it lasts a really long time with low maintenance. And a steel wall, theoretically, will last forever if you keep it coated, if you keep it painted, if you keep it... If we're making a steel wall, I'm really concerned about what condition the steel wall will be in in, say, 60 years. So, I mean, I'll be probably gone by then. I don't know. I might live to be 110 or so years old. I don't know. Ah! I don't know if I want to live that long. If everything's working, sure, but not if I'm all crippled up. I'm 110 and I can't talk when I have this little corner in my mouth. Sorry. Dealing with my own mortality. <laughs> but 60 years in the future, is the wall going to be rusty? Will you be able to drive your car through it then because of the corrosion? Will you be able to just take a hammer and knock a hole in the wall and go on through because it's, it's rotten from, you know, rust? So, steel, rust. We can't afford to make it out of stainless. <laughs> So we're going to have to maintain the wall. So there will be an additional expense to a steel wall that is that is ongoing. But I think the advantages over a concrete wall are immense. And it makes logical sense to make a steel wall. And I just don't understand. You know what it is? Nancy and Chuck Schumer think you're stupid. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer think the American people are idiots. And that we'll look at something made out of steel, and because it doesn't look like the Game of Thrones, then it must not be a wall, and therefore Donald Trump is a liar. Only stupid people would fall for that. I'm pretty sure you, my viewers, are not stupid. So we know the wall is being built, the wall is getting built, and Nancy and Chuck can't do a thing to stop it. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer can both sit and spin. God save our republic.